Today we're looking at lead code number 912. It's called sort an array. And this is a, a, a part of a series. We're doing five different sorting methods. And so today we're going to look at selection sort. Now this is not an efficient algorithm. It's actually very inefficient. So I would advise not to actually use this, but understand how it works and understand why we don't want to use this algorithm. So it's important to understand this algorithm, but we also want to understand why it's not efficient and we probably, we probably want to use a much more efficient algorithm when we're dealing with uh, any type of sorting. Okay, so here's our uh, conceptual. We have selection sort. We're going to have an array with the um, values 511200 and we're going to sort it using selection sort. And the idea is, is we're going to have two loops. We're going to have an outer loop and we're going to have an inner loop. And so our outer loop is going to be our ith uh, loop, and our, our inner loop is going to be our jth loop. And what we want to do is we want to store whatever's at i, the index of whatever's at i, in a variable. We'll call it min index. And then we want to scan through our inner loop. We want to start j wh wherever min index is or wherever i is plus 1. And then we want to scan through the rest of that array and find the minimum value. Okay, and once we do that, we just swap it with wherever i is at. Okay, let's step through this so it makes a little more sense. So I'm going to have my outer loop, i, uh, my outer loop at zero, which is i, and then at that at that point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my min index to whatever the index at i is. Okay, in this case, it's zero. Now we're going to go into the inner loop, where j is set, and j is going to start at i plus one. Okay, and so now J set, uh, is starting one ahead of wherever I was. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to check, is this index, is the value at this index where J is, is it less than the value of where uh, min index is, where that uh, zero is? In this case, it is. So we're not going to do any swapping just yet. All we're going to do is update this min index. Okay. So the index where j is at is 1. We're just going to update our min index to 1 as well. OK, so we'll remove that. And we'll go ahead and put a 1 right there. And then we're going to go ahead and increment j. And now we're going to do the same comparison. We're going to check, is the value at where j is, is it less than the value of the of where min index is the indice of min index the value of that is it is it greater than uh, the value at where j is okay and in this case it's not it's the same so all we're going to do is just go ahead and increment our j we'll check again is the value at the jth index is it less than the value at the min index okay it's not 2 is not uh, less than 1. So we're just going to go ahead and increment our j. Now we're going to check again. Is the value at j right here, which is 0, is it less than the value at min index, which is, uh, which is right over here? Let me use the pointer here. OK, min index at 1 is 1. Is this value less than this value? It is. OK, and so what we're going to do is just update our min index. We're just going to go ahead and put in this 4 right here. OK, we're going to continue. We're going to increment j. And we check the same thing. Is the value at min index, which is 4, the value at 4, is that less than the value at j, which is 0? And it's not. They're the same. And so we're not going to do anything. Now, once we break out of this loop, once j increments outside of the loop, what we're going to do is we're going to take whatever is at the indice of 4, which is this 0, and we're going to swap it with wherever i is at. OK, so we're just going to swap this 0 with this 5. So let's go ahead and do that. This is going to be 5, and this is going to be 0. OK? And so now that we've done that swap, we're going to reset i, reset the min index, and then go into our inner loop of j, which is just going to be 1 ahead of i. OK, so i is going to uh, uh, increment over here to 1. j is going to equal i plus 1, where it initializes. 
and then the min index is going to be initialized to wherever i is at, which is 1. OK? And so now we do the same thing. We just scan through. j is going to scan through the rest of the array, and it's going to find the minimum value uh, uh, and set, set that to min index. OK, so let's go ahead and just do one more a scan of this. It's going to check. Is the value at j, which is 1, is it less than the value at min index? It's not. They're the same value. OK, so we increment j. Is this value less than the value at min index? No, it's not. OK, we're going to increment j. Is this value 5, is that value less than the value at min index, which is 1? It's not. The value at min index is 1. The value at j is 5. So we're going to go ahead and increment. Now, when we get here, the value at j, which is 0, is it less than, is 0 less than the value at min index, which is 1? It is. 0 is less than 1. And so what are we going to do? We're going to, we're going to um, update our min index to 5, to j. OK? And now j is going to increment, but it's going to go out of this loop, right? And so once, we, once j goes out of, loop, out of the loop and we break out of that inner loop, before we start, before we increment i and we reset min index, we're going to do a swap. We're going to swap min index, okay, with i, which is at one. So we're going to go ahead and swap this one here with this zero. Okay. And so now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and increment i and reset j and reset min index. So i is going to increment to 2. j is going to increment to uh, i plus 1. And our min index is going to get initialized at i. OK, so the min index is now 2. And now we just go over the same process. OK, so we're going to check, is the value at j is it less than min index no it's not is this value less than min index no it's not is this value less than min index no it's not okay so then we didn't find anything we don't do any swaps okay we just swap it with itself because it's in the algorithm but no no actual numbers are being swapped and so now we just go ahead and increment i j is going to be i plus one and min index is going to be initialized to i OK, so min index is now 3. And now we're going to do the same, uh, the same comparisons. We're going to say, is the value at j, is it less than the value at min index? No, it's not. OK, is the value at j less than the value at min index? Yes, it is. So we're going to uh, update our min index here from 3 to 5. OK, it's updated to whatever the value at, or whatever the indice at j is at. So this is going to be 5. And then, because we're breaking out of this loop on the next iteration, what are we going to do? We're going to swap whatever's at min index with whatever's at i. OK. So 2 is going to get swapped out here. And 1 is going to get swapped out. We're going to get 1 over here. And 2 is going to go over here. And then we increment i. OK, and then we're going to go ahead and initialize our min index to whatever i is. In this case, it's 4. OK. And j is going to be initialized to i plus 1. So j is in the correct spot right here. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to check, is the value at min index or I'm sorry, is the value at j, which is 2, is it less than the value at min index? It is. OK, and so we're just going to go ahead and update our min index to j, which is 5. OK, and now because we're at the end here, j is going to break out. And so now we're just going to swap our min index with uh, i. Okay. So we're going to swap out 
the uh, indice of 5 and 4 here. And this is going to equal 2, and this is going to equal 5. Okay? And so you can see our array is sorted. And that, that's selection sort. That's basically it. Now, the thing is, it's just very, very inefficient. Because we have to create two loops. We have to have an outer loop. And then we have to go through that inner loop of everything else in there. And we have to constantly do these comparisons for each, each element. Okay? So what's our time complexity on this? It's going to be O of n squared. OK. Now, what about space complexity? Well, space complexity is actually really good for this because we're doing it all in place. We're not creating new arrays. We're not creating new memory uh, relative to the size of the input. And so our space complexity uh, uh, for this algorithm is going to be constant. It's going to be O of uh, n, or o of, o of 1 which is really good. Okay? So let's go ahead and jump in the and jump into the code and code this out. So what do we want to do here? We're going to have two loops, so we can go ahead and create our outer loops. So we can say for let i equals 0, i is less than nums.length. Okay? So there's our outer loop. Now we want to set our variable for min index. And we want to set it to i. And then what about our inner loop? Well, we want to start one ahead of i. Okay, so for let j equals uh, i plus 1, j is going to be less than nums.length, and j is going to increment. Okay, and so now what do we want to do? We just want to check is the value at j, so if nums at j is less than nums at min index, what do we want to do? We want to update our min index. Okay, We want to say min index is going to equal j. And now, once we break out of this inner loop, what do we want to do? We want to swap whatever the value is at min index with whatever the value is at i. So I'll just use a JavaScript uh, shorthand here. We'll say nums of i, nums at min index is going to be nums at min index and nums at i. Okay. All this is doing is just swapping those those numbers. Okay, so once we're done doing that swap, that's all we have to do. It's going to break out of that outer loop eventually, and then we can just go ahead and return our nums. Okay, and we'll go ahead and run that. And so, yeah, so that is selection sort. It's it's a good algorithm to know and to know why not to use this. We have much more efficient algorithms that, uh, that we're going to have videos for, in particular merge sort and quick sort. And insertion sort as well, if we're, if we're looking at an array that's partially sorted, it's actually um, quite efficient uh, as well. So we'll look at those as well. But this is a good, good one to know on why not to use this, because even in worst case, you're still getting uh, quadratic time, which is not good. You can see here uh, the runtime is, you know, 2.55 or 2.556 milliseconds, which is not very good. Um, okay, so that is selection sort. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one.